This is very strange because we're usually all together, but today we're going to be worshiping in our own homes, but we wanted to have Sabbath school so that we could still worship God together. So we're going to give you some options of songs. I hope you enjoy worshiping God at home with your family. do. He's got the whole world in his hands.
song, I Got the Joy, Joy, Joy. Yeah. Hello boys and girls, this is Anfernita and I have a wonderful story for you called Abram to the Rescue. Today's memory verse is from Genesis chapter 14 verse 24. It says, I will accept nothing belonging to you. The message for today's story is we serve others out of love. Who helps you when you are in trouble or afraid? Abram helped Lot when some enemies captured him. This is how it happened. Abram sat near the door to his tent, enjoying the fresh breeze. Suddenly he stood up and put his hand above his eyes to shade the sun. He could see a man running towards him. Abram walked out to meet him. Oh, Abram, the man gasped. There's been a great battle. The king of Sodom and four other kings went to war against their enemies. The man tried to catch his breath. <gasps> Abram looked worried. His nephew Lot lived in Sodom. What happened? Abram asked. The king of Sodom and the four other kings lost the battle. The enemy kings captured Sodom and another city. They carried away all the food and the gold and the animals and the people. They took your nephew Lot and his family too. You rest here, Abram said. Then he went to pray. He asked God to guide him. Soon after, Abram gathered his soldiers and told them his plan. Three neighbors and their men joined him. They would find the enemy kings and follow them, but they would wait to attack until the enemy had made camp for the night. That night they surprised the enemy kings. The startled enemy kings ran away, leaving behind the gold, the food, the animals, and the people. Oh, uncle, exclaimed Lot when he saw Abram. I'm so glad to see you. Let's go home, Abram said. So the people gathered the gold and the food and the animals and followed Abram. Abram had won the battle, and that gave him the right to keep those people and all their things if he wanted to. As they neared Lot's home, two men came out to meet them. Melchizedek, the king of a city named Salem, and a priest of God, brought food to Abram and his men. He blessed Abram and said, God the Most High delivered your enemies into your hand. Abram knew that God had won the victory for him. He was so grateful that he gave God's tithe. That's one out of every ten animals and pieces of gold to Melchizedek, God's priest. The other man, the king of Sodom, said to Abram, Give me back the people, and keep everything else for yourself. He knew that they should all belong to Abram because Abram won the battle. 
but Abram didn't want anything. I didn't go to battle to get rich, he said. I will accept nothing. Abram asked just for the food his men had already eaten and for shares for the three neighbors who helped him. Abram was happy to serve others out of love, and we can serve others out of love, too. This podcast was brought to you by gracelink.net and Studio El Piso. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net.
song if, if you're happy and you know it. We're gonna start clapping your hands. together. God, we just thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for our church family, even though we're not able to meet together right now. God, I just pray for all the kids uh, that usually meet together in this classroom. Thank you for them, for their families. Um, thank you that you love them and you love us. And God, we do pray your protection. We pray for your spirit to be leading and guiding, helping doctors and nurses and being with those who are sick, Lord. And we do just pray that this coronavirus would be done soon. Thank you that we have the hope of heaven where there will be no more sickness and there won't be any death. And the best part is Jesus will be with you and we'll get to be right there with you, touching, holding your hand, playing with you, worshiping you, um, and being together with you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath!